Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay, I have something that's been on my to-do list for over a week now. I need to get some celery in the ground. I have a garden bed picked out. It's pretty shallow. I've never grown celery, but I've been researching it and it looks like the root system's pretty shallow, so this should work pretty well. I put some new dirt in there. I used potting soil because that's what I had, but I think it'll work. Um, I have, geez, I don't know, I lost count. This is the first year that I've tried to grow celery that it's gotten to this point, so I'm pretty excited. And hopefully, hopefully, we can get it growing in the ground and growing well enough that we can get a harvest before it gets too hot out here. So. Come on, let's get started. So, I've got some oregano growing in here already, but I think it'll be okay to plant the celery over there in that empty space and this garden bed is not very deep but I think I think um, the root system of celery is not super it doesn't need a super deep area to grow so I think it being shallow is gonna be just fine I've added some more dirt to this and I think we're good to go these celeries have been hardening off for a little over a week now they spent several days in cloudy weather and then it's been sunny a couple days so I think they're ready to go in the ground. And looking at pictures online it looks like celery can be planted pretty close together so I think this will be plenty of space even though I have quite a few of them. But I guess we'll learn together. So I was reading about celery online and it said that you can actually, if you harvest just a little bit at a time, instead of harvesting the whole plant, you can make it into a biennial, which is pretty cool. And if this stuff makes it, I think I might try doing it that way. But it also said that it seems like it's not super cold hardy, which I thought was the opposite. I thought that it would bolt if it got too hot, but maybe I was wrong. I've also had these onions out in the greenhouse to harden off. It looks like I have a couple of different kinds here. These are the purple onions that, some of them are the purple onions that I started. Oh geez, it's been, what, two months now? And then some of them it looks like are white onions. So it seems like the purpose of planting the onions with the celery is the same. They will hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed, help deter the, some of the pests that might eat the celery. So it'll be exciting to see if these onions turn into actual onions too, because I've never successfully grown onions all the way to harvest. And with onions, you want to give them, if you're trying to get big onions, you want to give them plenty of space between each other so that they have room to spread out. And then when they get bigger, and we start to be able to see the bulb will come out and we'll kind of scoop the dirt away from them. If you got secrets to growing onions or celery or really anything, drop them in the comments. I had no idea that oregano was one of those plants that will take over or I probably would have been a lot more careful about how I planted it. I also didn't know that it would stay alive no matter what the weather is. But it is, it has grown 
and spread because we started with just a little patch and now look how much there is and I actually moved some of it this right here I actually moved from over there because it was spreading out and taking over everything so all right there we go all right so it's been a couple weeks since I put the celery in the ground and here's what it's looking like it looks pretty happy Like there's some new growth in there it got really cold a couple nights ago but it seems like it came through it okay and then there's the onions they're looking pretty good and the oregano I think the oregano has spread some more as always if you like what you see you like this kind of content go ahead and hit the thumbs up button Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.